All right, this post is about caring for fry, specifically tilapia fry. You could be raising your own fry for several reasons. The first is that it's cheaper than buying fry. It also gives you the freedom to breed towards certain traits, like heat tolerance. Our fish, for instance, aren't pure Nile tilapia. They're a hybrid between Oreochromus niloticus, which is Nile tilapia, and Oreochromus aureus, which is a fish native to the Sea of Galilee. It's also called St. Peter's fish. Because we've been breeding our own fish for many generations now, we've been able to hybridize a fish that is both warm tolerant, like aureus, and has the production levels of niloticus. It's pretty cool, right? For more information on breeding tilapia, you can check out our breeding post. But once you've bred the fish, you'll have to deal with the fry. There are three things that you want to do here. One, you want to separate the fry from at least the males and eventually from the females as well. Ideally, you would manually churn and hatch the eggs yourself in special jars, but if you don't have the equipment, that's fine. Just let the mothers mouth brood the young until they're too big, then separate the females from the fry. Then you'll want to provide the fry with some kind of shelter. We do the cheap thing and we just cut the bottoms out of planters, which we then wire together and sink in the tank. You can also use rocks or a net shelter. The best thing to do once the fry are a couple inches long and too big for the brood tank would be to redistribute the mature fish and get the fry into their own tank. When you move the fry, make sure that you do it really gradually, both in terms of temperature and water quality. You can do this by placing a bucket with the fry in the larger tank and then letting the temperature sink over the course of uh, several hours. Then you can slowly dip the lip of the bucket into the water and let the two bodies of water mix very slowly. When it comes to freeding fry, you have the option to use regular food, uh, just ground up, but we recommend using a high protein fry powder. This is easier for them to digest and eat and it allows them to grow out big and healthy really fast. Well, that's it for raising fry. If this was useful to you, you can check out zipgrow.com for more useful resources. Have a great day.